uh, from the Archdiocese of New York, Father Gerald Murray, uh, is with us this morning. Father, Merry Christmas. It's great to have you uh, with us to talk about this topic. Um, so the Vatican, uh, and Alex just uh, laid this out beautifully, but they say that same-sex couples can now be blessed as long as it's not part of regular church rituals or part of a marriage ceremony, which I think is confusing, by the way. Can, can they now get the host during a Catholic Mass, for example? Well, if two homosexuals are in a so-called marriage, no, because they're committing mortal sin. You know, that's the whole basis of marriage, a physical union. In this case, it's a pseudo-marriage. But the problem with this document is that it's now saying it's no big deal if you're committing mortal sin. The church can bless you. Now, a blessing is to ask God to favor and strengthen and guide us. And the only reason we ask for a blessing is so that we can do his will. Mm -hmm. People are pledged to do the exact opposite, commit sin, we don't bless those relationships. Now, unfortunately, the Pope says you can, and very upsetting, very upsetting, because it's, it's a, basically a renunciation of the whole sexual morality teaching of the church, and that's been 2,000 years. That's not how we operate. Mm. So this blessing can occur during a marriage or, or as we said, a, a specific a ritual. So when would they be blessed? When would this well, happen? Well, see, this is also the double talk that's coming out here. It says it's not a liturgical blessing, it's a pastoral blessing. Okay. And it says that people shouldn't dress up in wedding clothes. Now, wait a minute. You're, you're more concerned about what they're wearing than what they're doing? This, this is a real problem. Of course, all those you know, minutiae of saying when and how to do it is all going to be ignored because the reason two people get civilly married in a same-sex marriage, the reason they want a blessing is they want to have the church say, we're okay with what you're doing. Yeah. It's a celebration, so why can't I dress up? Why can't, and are, are they going to be able to wear rings? I mean, the Vatican is giving not only confusion but misdirection. The mission of the church is not to affirm people in what they think is right. It's to say, this is what Jesus wants from you. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm Catholic, and when mm -hmm. I read this, I sort of read through some of the language, and I just found it difficult to, to understand. Um, what do you make of just the timing here? Pope Francis, mm -hmm. who his critics say he is, he is too far to the left. Um, the timing here, you know, right before Christmas, uh, what do you make of that? Well, you know, Pope Francis just turned 87 on Sunday. I think he realizes he's not in great health. He wants to get a lot of changes in at the end. A couple of weeks ago, we had transgender people can be uh, sponsors at baptism. I mean, things that we've never heard of. So I think he's basically trying to push his agenda real quickly. And he appointed one of his closest aides to be the man who wrote this document, uh, Cardinal Fernandez. And, you know, he's a very active guy. They're gonna keep, I think we're going to keep getting documents like this. Oh, interesting. Uh, but it's disturbing. I mean, here it is Christmas. We're talking about the birth of the Savior. And wh what are we talking about now? Well, the church is okay with being gay. I mean, wait a minute. Anybody who has a problem with homosexual attraction, we're going to help them to get away from committing sin. Now this is saying if you want to commit sin, we're going to give you a blessing. Could, uh, could a future pope rescind? Any of this? Sure. Down the line? And, and is that is there much precedent for something like that? Well, absolutely. Well, look, this pope just rescinded what his predecessors have said. John Paul II and Benedict never allowed this. Now he is. So, yeah, this, unfortunately, it's turning religion into politics, which is, you know, what's the administration's policy now? Right. That's not what Catholic doctrine is. Catholic doctrine comes from God, comes from Christ right. and the Bible. So those things don't change. So it seems that blessing would be to serve as a representation that God welcomes all people. And I think the argument would be that um, many, all of us are sinners, right? Many of us sin in different ways. Um, and many people receive blessings. Uh, so is that kind of the, the justification here? Well, it is a justification. But the thing is, if you're committing a sin, we'll bless you when you say, I want to renounce the sin, not that I'm going to continue to do it. And this is precisely why this is wrong. This is basically saying if a priest gives a lesson and says homosexual activity is wrong, and two people say, well, Father, we don't agree with you, and by the way, the Pope says you can bless us. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. The teaching's more important than the desire that you have for me to affirm you in your sin. Mm. Uh, the church should never be doing that. This, this, think of your average Catholic. He wakes up and says, wait a minute, the Pope is saying homosexuals can be blessed. No, what? What about people who are polygamists? Yeah. You know, can they come in with their three wives? Well, and is that an accident? I think the people were looking to see if President Biden would respond uh, or react in any mm -hmm. way. Um, he's Catholic, only mm -hmm. our second ever uh, Catholic president so far. Nothing from the White House, mm -hmm. but he claims to be such a devout uh, mm -hmm. Catholic. Well, he's a pro-abortion Catholic. He's which not is a, a whole devout other issue. Yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Father, uh, thank you so much for coming yeah, in this morning. You. We appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you, and we look forward to having you back. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Great yes. to be with you. Thank, thank you.